Live from the Slackers Sports Bar Studios, this is In the Building with Mike Taylor and Rudy J. And we have breaking news as we come on. Live from the newsroom, I'm Mike Taylor. The 420 remote broadcast of In the Building on Saturday, April the 20th at Slackers in the Medical Center will be from 3 to 5 p.m. It's a good start time. I like that. Yeah, see, that's when people start getting there, start filling yeah. up, the vibe's mm-hmm. heating up. People have had a few. People yeah. got some food in them. Yeah, 3 to 5. That's going to work. That's going to work. April 20th as we ring in fo 20 on Saturday, 420. Massive crawfish boil out at the Medical Center location at the official sports bar of in the building. Slackers, me and Rudy J will have in the building from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Then I'm going to go eat about 10 pounds of crawfish. Are you a crawfish guy? Um, When it's being served up, I don't like go get it. I never order it on my own, but if I go to your house and like you have a party, it, yeah. a bunch of potatoes and carrots and corn and shit. I always I'll get the it. sausage. Sausage, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like to eat them alone. I don't you like the, You got to have the corn and the potatoes I with that, it. I need, the, I need the goulash. I need all that shit. See, nowadays they hit you for extra for the extras. Oh, yeah. Like, if you want just the crawfish, that's one thing. But if you want a sausage and then an egg mm-hmm. and then a potato and then a corn, it just starts adding up. I'm going to assume since we're doing a show and this is the official studio sponsor, we don't have to. We're going to get hooked up, right? Uh, without a doubt. Do I, I don't need to go buy my own no, wristband. Dude, look, and then Dylan, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not just saying this. Yeah. Dealing with Frank. <clears throat> it takes, no, I'm, you should, I'm looking dude, forward in, to in it. In two years of birthday parties, seriously, mm-hmm. my birthday party is Slackadocious, the home of Rudy J. Slackadocious. He's probably given me 50 cigars. Damn. That's going to work. You know how much money that is? Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, yep, that's nah, going to work. So he ain't making us pay for no crawfish right, cool. is what I'm saying. The Thunderdomers, though. Make us look good. And, it, dude, you get all-day crawfish boil. $15 or specials. $20 with wristband. Right. It's $20 if you show up that day and buy them at the gate. But if you go buy them in any of the five locations mm-hmm. around town, including the Slackadocious location <laughs> or the Slackical Center, I don't know, what do we call the medical center location? Um, call the medical location. Medical location on Fred Fred Road. That's where we'll be doing. That's where this is all going to go down on 420. If you do, if you buy them beforehand, it's only 15 bucks a wristband. And that's all you can eat. That's right. 15. Looking forward to it. That. They got fights that night on pay per view. You got, and it's, I'm glad that fight's happening and you can watch the slackers because Ryan Garcia was acting really strange. How so? Mental, like he's having another mental breakdown. Wait, you mean an MMA fighter's acting crazy? Well, he's a boxer. Whoa. Oh, Same well. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. Yeah, yeah, no. I didn't know if it was going to happen because Ryan's been tripping. These guys go crazy. Yeah. I like, okay, that that bodes to the next question. Um, Boxing or MMA for Team Rudy J? Well, both situations, I only watch big-time main events. So if I'm just comparing main events because I'm not like a ground roots guy, it's boxing. It's boxing. Like I've grown to like UFC because my brother, both of my brother-in-laws love it. My brother, one of my brother-in-laws at Carl, you know, LG knows Carl. He's like, a, what up KC? Yeah, what up KC? He's like a jujitsu maniac, like a daily thing. So he mm-hmm. teaches me a lot about the game. My other brother, Lou, he teaches me a lot. So because we bond over it, I've mm-hmm. gotten to understand UFC and grow to like it more. Yeah. But if I'm picking, like, if I have to watch Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia versus the UFC main event, and mm-hmm. they're on at the same time on different channels, I'm watching boxing. Same. I will watch you. Uh, same. It's the, it's the crawfish theory. I don't watch. I don't eat a lot of crawfish unless it's being served up at a place I'm going to. Right. I don't hate it, but it's it's not. You know, I, I don't seek it. Hey, baby, let's go get some crawfish tonight. I don't ever have that thought. Right. It's a specialty thing. If I'm in a group of people, I'm at someone's house, slackers on the at the medical center on 420, I'll partake. Same thing with MMA for me. And I, for a while, was ass-whipped by the whole thing. I'm a boxing <laughs> fan. I like boxing. I'm a traditionalist. Mm-hmm. You know, I like I just like boxing. Been around a long time. Grew up big boxing fan. My dad was a big boxing fan. Yeah. Muhammad Ali is my dad's all time favorite athlete, regardless of sport. Gotcha. 
And it's not the fighters that whipped my ass back on UFC. It's the fans that whip my ass. Yes. I just don't feel like I'm going to insult half our audience right now, but man, I've done it many Let's times. Say it. I don't feel like I'm amidst people that I could be friends with. <laughs> Wait. If you spend a hundred bucks on a tap out t shirt, I don't know that we can be good buddies. We can hang out every once in a while, but not good friends. I'm 49 years old. I don't wear fucking tap out shirts and spend 80 bucks. I don't, I don't dress up like Billy. I don't dress thing. up like Billy Madison and wear a goddamn baseball hat, flat bill cocked to the side like I'm CC Sabathia. That's not my kind of guy. Well, this is no only, offense to y'all. Yeah. <laughs> the only but thing that's about who watches UFC. Only thing about the UFC guy is they always want to they always want to chastise you about not watching it. That's the only thing that whips my ass. Like, I don't, like, you know, whatever you do is what you do. Whatever you like is what you like. Mm -hmm. But don't come into my Twitter mentions and tell me, I can't believe you're not watching Martinez versus Valdez part three. Hey, Twitter world. On, on UFC 298. I, biatch. Biatch. I, if I wanted to watch it, I'd watch it. Like, don't beat me down about it. You right. know what I mean? Like, if I want to watch it, I, I'll, I'll get to it. And again, I've That's grown. True. To like UFC more. There's a few guys that I enjoy watching. I can't remember their names, but I know what they look like. Yeah. But don't come in there t chastising me about, you know, why it's so much better than boxing. It's subjective, bro. Yeah, it's not so much better than boxing. You can't. It's like saying rap's so much better than country. It's subjective. It's subjective. And like, and that's and a lot of those guys are just kind of pent up. They're kind right. of youngish acting. Even guys my age and older, they act in, there's, there's too much immaturity. But I'll tell you this: If you see a guy at the bar with a cauliflower ear, mm -hmm. and he's talking shit to you, I ain't fighting you tell him. him I'm sorry, and you move around. Yeah, and then buy him a drink. Yeah, you move around. See, because those guys are actual fighters. Yeah, they'll they're fuck looking you up. to fight. You'll I've get, hung out. You'll get I, look, fucked up. I have hung out with super intellectual, very intelligent businessmen who love this sport, and guys who participated and practice in it too. Jiu -jitsu. Yeah, they're I, legit. I I'm talking about the fringe right. idiot fan that doesn't know what he's doing. I think all men over forty should actually take jujitsu. Like I'm thinking about it, it's just not it's, a, fight, it's too expensive for shape. me right now. Mm -hmm. Anthony Bourdain took up jujitsu late in his life. We really think we should all be doing jujitsu. When Anthony got up in his late forties, he he never uh, he fought a few guys in like refereed competition. Oh, he did? Yeah, but just exhibitions for fun. That. And he dropped twenty pounds. You know, before he the hanged, workout alone. before he hanged himself, he was in the That's best crazy. shape of his life in his mid sixties because his wife was a fighter. Yeah, he oh, took really? that up, mm -hmm. and oh, he got okay. so he he took it up, and got serious, and he got in. He was probably one of the most in shape sixty four year old men in yeah, America. Yeah, you, you're you're drenched leaving mm -hmm. a jujitsu workout. And you're right, there is an arrogance about that fan because hey, yes. we don't go to your football games yeah. and bug you. <laughs> and I and I get that. I'm not going to go watch UFC in a bar full of UFC fans and go. Is Anderson Silva still fighting? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. This stuff's too brutal. They bleed too much. I'm not going to be that guy. I promise. Soccer fans are that way. Guys that watch mm. soccer, like that's their favorite sport. Oh my god, soccer! They fans. will. They are such dweebs and arrogant assholes. And I'm being, I'm generalizing here. I like soccer, but I cannot stand the the everyday soccer fan who gets beaten down by the drive by soccer fan, which that's me. And I and I'm not going to go in there and pretend I know what I'm talking about, but I am. I am, don't don't get up on my ass. I'm right. spending just as much money in this bar. Yeah, soccer you know? fan is like vegans. <laughs> They're gonna let you know. You know, a yeah. vegan let you know. I'm a vegan. Been a yeah. vegan for three I'm, years. I know more than you about nutrition. Be I'm, en I'm enlightened. I didn't ask you. Yeah, soccer fan is a lot like vegan. Soccer fans and UFC fans, different kind of animals, but they all act the same. I want to support y'all sports, but y'all <laughs> make it hard. That being said, we're gonna watch boxing at Slackers on 420. All right, it's Friday, baby. It is Friday. What are we doing Cheers, up LG. Cheers, cheers, cheers. We got some blue Salute. note. Yeah, little we got blue some note. blue note. A little blue note. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, zone. Tennessee. Yeah, the famous jazz record label, Blue Salute. Note Records. Uh, 116 proof. Let me know what you think. Mm. There was a bar in Dallas we used to go to when I was a kid. Dan's Blue Note. Good spot. Since yeah, you're, I got since this, you're I Mr. Wannabe this. Dallas guy. Yeah, this is... Um, One day I you got and I need to go Texas up to North chair. Texas. We, you keep saying that. I know. Let's make it happen. We got to go see my hometown that you always bag Let's on. Let's go to Fort Worth and do a little food tour. Let's do it. Go see your old we'll house. We'll go over there and let you see your beloved Dallas, where you have and you have family in Big D. Yeah, well, so I like, I know. Dallas and Austin are the same for me. Like I like to go to Dallas. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of cool things to do. Mm -hmm. I just don't see myself living there. 
even if, like, say you and I got paid a million bucks to go do a radio show for the fan. You do it. I'm commuting from Fort Worth. I ain't living in Dallas. Just ain't Are doing you it. serious? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe Arlington. Nah, I'd be back in Cowtown. Like, why, why, I don't think I'll ever move back to North Texas. I like but Salina. if I did, I'm going to go home. I like Salina and Prosper. That's way up in the country. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't. I haven't been in twenty years. I don't know if it's the country anymore. My sister lives in Salina. Is it's, it still the country? Yeah, it's okay. an hour, they're so far country. It's an hour. Yeah, from Choctaw in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's not really Dallas. Yeah, it's not. Dallas. It's North Texas. Right there, near, you go. Yeah, Great it's point. Damn near to the border. All right. So, well, since we got this blue note out, <laughs> let's do it. I'm sure you bought this at Texas. Cheer I did liquor. buy the Texas. What's up, Texas Before, Cheer Liquor? Like, yeah. Well, one of my um, last purchases was this one. And I've been this saving. This is nice. It. it is, right? Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. This I've Blue not Note, had this. Blue Note Juke Joint. Mm-hmm. 116.5 proof, baby. Woo, it's an easy sip. It, 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 now, put some hair on your chest. Oh, I'm sipping But it's, it it's going down smooth. What you think, LG? Yeah, uh, not bad. <laughs> it's a little too hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you did give me a coffee cup full of it. <laughs> Because <laughs> the first dab wasn't enough, and then I got heavy. I need to get some whiskey glasses. Yeah, if that's what you're yeah, telling me. I, I hope got, you don't have heavy. anything to do tonight with all he that he. I got just heavy handed you. on LG. You need a nap. Well, he's the yeah. host. It's his. It's his studio. He deserves yeah, more. I'm hooch. not. I got a. I got a good drive, so I'm not going to do too much. Right this so after I get done here, I got to go do a little bit of work for one of my other jobs. Oof. So I'm going to take it slow. You working Friday? As you working? Dude, actually, I, got, I, I remember I told you the day I have four jobs now. Four. I can't. Give I gotta me, think ca- about count them out. Okay, I well, got to write them down. I got so many. Thank you to Texas Cheer Liquor. There are seven locations in and around the area. Make sure you mention this show when you go in there to end the building. Tell them about us, and they will give you five percent off all purchases, regardless of what you buy and how much you buy. It is Texas Cheer Liquor. It's right. sing, motherfucker. So I'm. I got ITB on Love You Hard TV. I've got the San Antonio Missions mm-hmm. in in you know in game MC. Okay. I work for a trucking company called Starco. Okay. Y'all saw what I was doing the other day, purchasing giant ass vehicles, massive Hulk cat haulers and rock picker uppers and water trucks. And I'm still learning all the lingo. Okay. He entrusted me the other day to go buy a bunch of equipment for the company. Nice. So I'm shopping for, you know, $150,000 haulers and stuff. Called Starco. Shout out to my boy Dale, aka my boss at Starco Trucking. What up, Dale? They did. They run hazmat and they run oil. And there's this chemical that you mix with oil, and that's what TechStock uses to pave the roads when they redo them. We haul that chemical to and fro. So I just started a couple of weeks ago. I'm still I'm still training. I'm crash coursing. But I've been all over. I've been all over the area. I've been to the massive quarry up on the north side. That was amazing. So Dale's been hauling me around to the different. We have clients that we our trucks deliver those those things that they need to do what they got to do to build and pave and whatever it is they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My job is to customer serve. I make sure our customers are happy, whatever that entails. Might be taking them a bottle of Blue Note. But you know the massive quarry up on the north side. Yeah. Right there by the rim. Have y'all ever been down in there? Mm-mm. I mean, you gotta you gotta have clearance. So we have a client in there. It is amazing. Have you flown over it though? Like coming home yeah, from of a course. trip? Yeah, you yeah, see yeah, how yeah. massive yeah, it is when I've you fly it. over it. It's like being on the moon or in the Sahara. It's crazy. There's no roads. They have little paths. It's paved a little bit, but not really. It's mostly real hard dirt. But you look around, you looks like you're on the set of like Star Wars, you're on indoor or you're on the damn moon. Like they could film a moon, they could do like a fake moon landing at the quarry. It's pretty cool. So I'm doing that. And I'm doing uh influencer stuff for reroof mm. roofing company. That's four jobs by my count. I'm a busy dude right now, man. A busy okay, busy. So I dude. got in the building. Mm-hmm. Contracted with the Air Force. There's two. Got a cleaning company. You do. And then I drive my wife's bus around, which is a 26-foot bus that she gutted and turned into a women's boutique. That's cool. So and then, four. That's and then four. I got and I got a five year old, so that's five. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we are, man. Well, LG, how much what's your count at? Mm, all right. We got this show. <laughs> 
<laughs> got UTSA, <laughs> softball and baseball. That's then that's two. That got, counts as two. But it's so for that's one three. company. But it's still two different jobs because you got to. So that's three jobs. It's a, it's a full time job. So I that's got, three. It ain't a side hustle. I got video work for Hello Young Films out of Houston. That's four. Hello Young Films. I got video work for Kale Creative out of San Antonio here. That's where you do the witty stuff? Yes. Okay, so that's five. Are you okay? Are you doing this game no, on Saturday? No, I'm not. Okay. And I got Austin Surf Club in Austin. Damn, so you got so six. So between six I can us think of right now. So between us, we got fourteen gigs. How did it get to this, guys? We're too old for this. You know how it got to this? We decided we to said, do this. Fuck the middleman. Yeah. I've been doing this shit for 15 well, been years, years yeah, bro. Insane. <laughs> insane. When's the last time you had a W-2? Uh, mm. uh, last year, oh, well. I, I got a job with Flow Sports shooting jujitsu and marching band and <laughs> okay. baseball. Two. I had and, two and years and of it. it. They switched me mid-season or mid-year from 1099 work to W-2 work mm-hmm. for some strange reason, and mm-hmm. I hated it. I did two years with sports star obviously mm-hmm. but before that mm-hmm. jesus i was independent for 15 and a half years my only job was iheart radio and they took care of a medical w2 big corporate i was a little darling up there as you know yeah you were we know <clears throat> and i got bored and decided to leave for a number of reasons many of which i'm literally contractually obligated to keep secret it's crazy nda i signed an nda I know where some bodies are buried. Yeah, well, I know let's just keep it. Let's just keep it to ourselves. I got some, I'm, 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 I'm legally sued. bound. I yeah. have to. <laughs> they, although if they sued me, I ain't got no money to give y'all. So go ahead, take my yeah. ass to court. No, man. You know, it's just uh, we're in we're in this phase. We're gonna get out of this, y'all, with the help of Thunderdome <laughs> and our hard ass elbow work. We'll get out of this at some point. Stuff bubbling. We'll be, we'll get there. Stuff's I ain't, bubbling. I ain't, I ain't. I'm not in the only because I come from the like LG said. Like I had a food truck. I had a restaurant. Mm-hmm. I had security, cleaning company. Like I. This is like this is what I'm cut from. I'm used to this. You know what I mean? Like I'm built for this. I'm built to be able to be like okay because I'm a man. I got to provide mm-hmm. whatever it takes. Yeah, so man. this isn't. And I know there's always light. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. And once you keep going, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? When you yeah. keep going, shit works out, you know? So I'm not worried at all. Yeah. Because I know when you keep putting one foot in front of the other, at the next thing you know, you look up and you find a pile of money. I'm not worried about the you long You earn your term, blessings. But it's funny. I don't know if this makes sense or not. Like, I still, I'm not worried at all about the long term. Me but neither. I do sweat the day to day. Physically. The, we all do. The emotional toll is I no longer have the money I used to, so I can't see my kids in Hawaii as often as I'd like. Now to. that part sucks. That's now that I can't. Soul. Now that I can't. I can't relate to you on and that. That's my fault. I elected to leave iHeart, and I knew that there was going to be a year or two of hard times. What I did not bargain for was she won't let them come here. Now that is a whole different. I assumed that's a whole different show. that she and I could, in good faith, negotiate. Hey. Well, she you will put not it, so let, you, you put it, let you, them come You here. put it out there. So yeah. you're telling me your ex-wife <clears throat> has told you they're not flying to San Antonio. They will, she will not let them come here. Now, I don't want to get into the, all the details yeah, of why, considering you're but a the child bottom support, line is she won't. You're a child support paying man. It's gone down because I left that corporate radio. How does but that, I still give 20% every month. I don't like, you no, know, I know it's gone down, but you're still paying. Mm-hmm. I don't like the fact that you, the man has to pay and then you still don't have no say so. So then what am I paying for? Well, which this is on me because I I guess we should jump into the Orlando Kell spot right now. Yes. It's a perfect time. And then we'll get into some punches. Well, I the decree I signed sucked. Did you know what you were signing? I did. Well, see, I didn't know how my life, I didn't, I couldn't predict changes, which is why guys like Orlando exist because things change. Job status changes, people move, you know, that's why he doesn't just do divorces. He'll update a divorce decree for you. Problem is this, we got divorced in Hawaii and Orlando, he's not, he's not licensed in Hawaii. And so that's why it's like, I, what I need to do is get a hearing, get 
into a courtroom in Hawaii, have a judge say, oh, you need to let this man see his kids in his home too. And I'll pay for it. You'll pay for the flights? Yeah. Of course. Of course you would. That's sure. not a debate. You know, she wants me to always go there to see them. And I've, I, as you know, I've been, a, I've been a handful of times. Problem is, it's twenty five hundred dollars every time I go there for a week. What? I got, I got to get a hotel. Gosh, you know, damn, we, it, dude, it's so expensive. I don't even rent a car when we go there. We, we and the, the twins, we, we towed around on the city bus. Because if you rented a car, then you're taking it <clears> up to thousand. thirty five hundred. Another thousand. So it's like let them come here, because it's, it's, it's all then I have to do is paying for two flights. That's it. And oh, by the God forbid, they see my parents, their siblings, my two oldest kids, their aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends and family who love them here, which is ninety five percent of the people that they know, won't let them do it. So I and I, she, I've been told, change the decree. <laughs> who told you that, Orlando? She did. You want them to come to Texas? Change the decree. But see, and I'm in the process. The thing, I'm saving though. up money so this, I can hire a thing, fucking though. lawyer and get it get in court. If you were like if you if you were a heroin addict, Mike, mm -hmm. I'd be like, I get it. Yeah, man. You're a good let's pops. be careful. I wouldn't do it. I, yeah. I, let's be real. I'm I'm just saying, I'm the, I got this started. Just be careful. Orlando. He's not licensed here. No, I'm just saying. So you can avoid some of the death traps. Um don't, I just like don't wind up in a situation like me. I just feel like, yeah, Orlando I just feel like Kale at some point, you, like you just have an epiphany and you just kind of like, you know what, this isn't right. That's that, what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just being a... a don't, like, don't have that have had that epiphany yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You think just because they're I'm their daddy, no matter what you got dad, against the dad, dad, no matter, I'm, I'm, a very, I'm a damn good dad. That's what I'm I saying. I just don't that's, feel like it these days. You know? The bottom line is I'm not seeing them the way I should. And that will that will that has taken a piece of my soul that I will not get back. I feel you. So that's what I'm working on. I'm trying. I'm, I'm working on. That's why you got four jobs. I, I got four jobs. I got to get money to get into court in the state of Hawaii, or just so you can go don't, up there, or just anybody. so you can go up there and see him. I don't have any resources. I have no. They need to come here. It don't matter if I'm a millionaire. They're not getting to see their whole family mm -hmm. on this side because of some bullshit. They don't make any sense, you know, and that's unfortunate. It gets ugly. Do not allow yourself to be in that situation. If you're a Texan and y'all are in Texas and you did, your, you did your divorce in Texas, Orlando's the guy to get some decree change. 210-775-4995. You can directly email Orlando at orlandokellaw at gmail.com. Orlandokellaw at gmail.com. Okay. Who are we punching today? <laughs> <laughs> you told I'm going to be, punch someone you else. You told me to be careful, so I won't say. Let's punch somebody else. Who you want to punch? Um, I think I made it obvious. That's my punch. Who you punch? <laughs> you punch the system. How about we punch the system? Let's punch the system. Well, I signed it. That's the thing. When I signed that decree, I lived there. I did not anticipate moving home as, let's punch the as soon as I for, did. For the record, let's punch the system. Right. Yeah. For the system. Well, the, let's but, be but careful and punch the fine. system. That's fine. Punch the system. But the system also is set up where these grown-ass people with these kids, they need to be able to just... They, they, just, because it's on a, just because it's a decree, you don't have to abide by it. Hey, I've got something this weekend. Can we switch visitation weeks? Sure, that's cool. Let's flip it. People, Normal people do that. Hey, I know in the decree it says I get the kids every other Saturday, Sunday, but I'm going on vacation, and so can we flip the weekends? Yeah, no problem. Right. N normal people do that for the, because they got because they care about their kids. Or, hey, I got a new job, and my 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 income's increasing, so I'm I'm gonna start I'm gonna start throwing you another couple hundred bucks. That's not to hell with the court and all that. That's in good faith handshake as former partners that share children, as grown folks. Let's agree I'm gonna give you another two fifty a month. You the system wants they don't want to fuck with you all the time. They don't want you to have to go crying to the system every time there's anything. But this is not that's not a normal situation, you know. And that's why guys like Orlando exist. So that's my punch today. Okay. Who you punch? Um the system. No. <laughs> Dude, look it's uh, this ain't on the system. Women that have 
Oh, Primary shit. custody Here of you children. Go. Here you have go. All the power. Hey, hey, hey. Be careful. Unless you got the money. Be careful. Um, all right. uh, not Mega Million, Powerball, Texas Lotto. I'm not mm-hmm. punching y'all. But today on my on my well, yeah, today on my way to the studio, coming in, getting my normal, getting my water. Yeah. And I'm behind s- three scratch off people. Oh man, that's just a good one. Like, look, you're better off getting a better off having four jobs like myself, you, and LG mm-hmm. than scratch off. Like Powerball, Mega Million, I get it. You got to play to win, but the scratch off, they are literally laughing at y'all's asses. Yes, every now and then you're gonna hit for five hundred. Every now and then you're gonna spend nine hundred to you do get, it. That's, like you scratch off people. We had a twenty four. We had number thirteen. Number 12, and by the way, let me get two quick picks with the extras. If that's if that's what it's come, like, I'll know it's a, like I've given up when I'm buying scratch-offs. <laughs> like, again, the Powerball, I'm not talking about y'all. I get that. I play the Powerball and shit, too, when it gets to a certain amount. But when I if I'm if I'm the guy buying seven different scratch-offs and then I scratch them off in the store. That's the part right there. Then I know I've given up. You want to throw I got money punch, away? I got go a, yeah, I got to punch the scratch don't off Don't make people. me wait on your ass. Yeah, I got to punch the scratch off Here, people. Here's the thing about scratch offs <laughs> that most people don't realize. What's up? The jackpot, once they release the scratch off, the jackpot could be won on day one, but there's still all these other prizes oh. that they have to give out. So the jackpot might not even be available anymore, but they still got the $100 prizes, the 10 So they got to still sell them. That's right. And if you don't do the research... You're thinking, oh, it says I can win a million. Well, not if it's no, already been somebody claimed. Somebody won it three weeks ago. Yeah, not if it's already been claimed. Yeah. Not scratch off, man. You yeah. can't like and then you're scratching them off in the store. That's the it's worst. Weird. Yeah. And I wonder at how least, long. St- it at takes. least step aside. <laughs> they, they sit there at the front of the at the That's cashier bullshit. and scratch them off. I'll and tell people. Hold up the line. I tell them, move. I tell them. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, step or aside. I, can, I, or, I, I talk to the I don't talk to the person. I tell the cashier, hey, can I go and check out? <laughs> Trying to make it obvious because this fucking asshole. You know, I've got six winners. They're two dollars each. And I got a five dollar here and one. I want to cash these in. Or, stand here or when me. they say, "Can you check these for me?" Yeah, oh yeah. Can you scan God. these? That's bullshit. They got the self scanner right there. there. Yeah, right. there is, there is, there is self-scanner. a self scanner. I yeah. promise you, scratch off guy, scratch off girl. You're much better off trying to get a part time job at Texas Cheer Liquor or something. <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna be, you're gonna because I guarantee you you're gonna make money there. Mm-hmm. Scratch off people. I didn't know is this gonna be a good enough punch. I didn't know if this was gonna be a great punch, but clearly y'all want to punch these people too. I, yeah, it's a great punch. It's a punch of the week. I like. It. Ooh, I got you. Got ooh, started sweating under my armpits. Yeah, it ain't the whiskey. No, it's it not. Pitched. Not the blue note. Whiskey's keeping it. Less Speaking sweaty. of mm-hmm. the Whataburger logo. You need to leave this boy alone. I am brought no, him no, up no, all Wimby, week because you're a Not hater. Wimby, oh, not Wimby, okay, not Wimby. Okay, okay. Um, this is my man right here. He's a good kid. I want him to meet my daughter. Burger Boy <laughs> on the Eclipse Day earlier this week, they like it was a Whataburger logo was the sun, and the Burger Boy logo was the moon. Oh, kind of saying we've eclipsed Whataburger. Shots and you fired. know what? I agree. A hundred percent. It's a better burger, but it ain't, it's never gonna. But it, it doesn't make for 100%. how many for how many dollars they make. What does Whataburger make? Come on, a hundred. That's what we're talking about. We talking about money. Well, ten, they got they ten got years ago. Board. Yeah, Whataburger. Today, it's Whataburger is at the boy, bottom of my long. burger list. Yeah, it is. This fell off. Dude. I don't go yeah. often, but yeah. when I, you go, I don't go anymore. <laughs> period. We, at the Wolf Stadium, I say I can say this now. We. Give out free water burgers oh, on occasion. Damn. Okay, what a burger? No, no, no. Is the shit. I'm saying no, no, it ain't the shit. I need the free coupon before I go get it. It is not good. It's inconsistent. And this has been this started years ago, but it's to the point now where it's just really fallen off. The Dobson family needs to get control of their shit. Well, they kind of they, went they, global, they outsourced right? They to went Chicago. Global. And then what? Patrick Mahomes wanted some in Kansas City. Right? I like my with ketchup on it. I like ketchup on my steak. But see, it's not it's a, a good shame way. that the goat talks like, like you that. know. It's kind of like In and Out coming <laughs> to Texas, like because In and Out is trash. I thank thank y'all. It's trash. It's sorry, it's a, Chris Dool. In and Out sucks. And guess what? It, it, guess what? It sucks in Cali too. 
It sucks everywhere. It's, it's such awful. a Cali too. It's like I thought it was like, oh, okay, well, they missed the mark when they outsourced. And then no. I went in a cowboy camp. It sucked there too. Animal you, style is disgusting. It's gross. And you pile enough ketchup and mustard on something, it's gonna <laughs> dra- it's gonna it's gonna taste and okay. And then they put a whole onion on there. Dude, but, P. Terry's is light years better than In and Out. Wait, time out. You Terry's. like P. Terry's? Their burgers are way better than. I'm not saying they're up oh, here. Oh man! But I if you're gonna know. compare them to In and Out and Water Burger, P. Terry's is way oh, better, better than, than In and Out and Water You know what? I had a bad experience at P. Terry's. P. Terry's I need to go fr- back. P. Terry's fries are no good, but, but the burgers sick? are good and sick. affordable. What happened? It, well, I didn't get sick. It just wasn't good. I probably need oh. to eat there. They're also real little. They're like old school yeah, style. Yeah, they're, but they're, they're real, also priced accordingly. They're two bucks. Yeah, $2. exactly. So you get what you pay for. Yes. Don't get. You gotta get a couple of them. Thunder you double. Give you me get shit. a double or a triple. But Dwight Thunder will give you. Shit. Don't get the veggie burger. It's terrible. Yes, on occasion I get veggie burgers and it's terrible at water. Veggie. I mean, or uh, impo- Pete Terry's. A veggie or is it veggie or is it impossible? I don't know. Yeah, it is sucks. It, is it like mushroom or is it like that fake or is it meat bean shit? burger, like Earth Burger? I think it's Earth Burger shit. Yeah, gross. And theirs is gross. Yeah, and I most are gross. Some are not gross. Pete Terry sucks. Punch anybody who tries to make veggies <laughs> taste like meat. That's the problem with that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I just know. just yeah. make it veggies. Like right. veggie fajitas are delicious because it ain't like fake chicken in there or like fake. You know, beyond yeah, me. it's like it's like it's, raw it's like zucchini, zucchini. and squa- you know, yeah, like good. yeah, like I had um, uh, veggie uh, menudo. It was jackfruit. What? It was jackfruit from Senior <laughs> Senior Veggie. Yeah, and uh, was good? that is that Southtown LG Senior Veggie? I don't know what yeah. that is. It Never was good. I like jackfruit. It Jackfruit's has a chi- good. It has Jackfruit's a chicken good. texture. It's really good for you too. I like jackfruit. I don't like, have it enough. Y'all ever get some of the veggie stuff at the store just for fun to try it out, like the Morning Star? So I do. I tried the, it, and it tastes like it's awful. burnt chunkless. Yeah. The faking. <laughs> the chicken mm-hmm. made out of I'll cauliflower. I'll do turkey bacon before I do faking bacon. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do turkey bacon. I like turkey. We do um like squash spaghetti. Really? With sp- squash oh, in like, the sp- yeah, yeah. Oh, with the, like the actual zoodles. Or yeah. Or the zoodles. Yeah. And then my wife loves the cauliflower crusted pizza. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying it's it's like, okay, but it's a real veggie though. Yeah. Yeah. It's you know okay, what I mean? but you know it's, it's not. It's okay, but you can taste that it's not. That's right. No, it's not the same. Yeah. It makes me gassy as fuck. Which one? Well, most veggies. Cauliflower dude. pizza. I fart for three days. Dude, well, vegan, as long vegans as got the most gassiest stomachs dude, ever. It, this goes back to the most fundamental thing I can ever say about nutrition. What's that? Just you want to eat fucking pizza? Just fucking eat pizza. Don't trick it up. No offense to Anna. No, no, no. Just, I, I'm, I got Nina you. Nina eats healthy, really healthy, and I admire her, but I can't do it. You want to eat fucking pizza? Just fucking eat pizza. Just don't eat seven slices of it. Have one. Portion control is America's Have problem. one. It's not. Uh, yeah, look, our food sucks, and it's all fucked up, but portion control is our biggest problem. Yeah, I don't want to hear you. Oh, what, these are sugar-free cookies. Yeah, but you ate 12 of them, motherfucker. Do you remember when McDonald's was doing the humongous size fry? And it yeah. was in the 32 ounce cup. That sure. was great. I wish they'd bring it back. <laughs> Make the only thing good at McDonald's is the the sausage biscuit and the yeah. freaking fries. So yeah, yeah bring back so the our, our problem fries. in America is portion control. Right. You brought up P. Terry's. They have old school size hamburgers. This is what at fucking Whataburger and Burger King wa- hamburgers in 1980 were about this big. Right. That's what P. Terry's gives you. Now we get three with bacon Correct. and cheese. And but it, yeah, and it's fifteen ninety nine. Yeah, that too. There, I can give you a million pieces of data that tell you you don't need to eat. I'm talking to me too. We all, we're all guilty. Americans are guilty of this. Facts. It's hard not to. You don't need near as much food no, as you don't. think. You, as your brain has now taught yourself that you think need. You don't. It's like being hooked on drugs. The Mayans, the Vikings, the Native Americans ate once a day. They hunted all day and then at Bad night the they feasted. They ate sure. once a day. They weren't. Right. They and didn't they stop ripped. during their hike. Like, hey, y'all, it's been three hours. Y'all hungry? No. Right. They hunted and traveled all day and then at night. Damn right. They ate. Nobody died of heart day. disease in the Aztec it culture. It was one meal a day. I don't know if I could right. get to one meal a day, but I strive. There's a couple of YouTubers that I follow mm-hmm. that do one meal a day. I can't do that. I do three, do four. Just don't eat a big fucking steak. 
Well, you know, breakfast three that, times that a day. Slogan: Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's just it's the bullshit, result of right? a giant advertising campaign. It's bullshit, sure. right? That's all that is. It's bullshit. Yeah, most people eat a light breakfast. We're all channeled to eat differently. Mm-hmm. Our metabolism are all different. Our ancestry is all different. Our 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 inherited traits, physically, anatomically, biologically, physiologically, are all given to us. Some folks are going to be bigger than others. Right. Some people. Kenyan Kenyan runners, you know why there's so many great Kenyan runners? Because they're all tiny, and they're they've got a thousand, they got fifty thousand years of having a nomadic culture. You know, Vikings from Sweden are big old tall six, six foot four seven, dudes. Yeah, yeah. They got big ass. They're gonna have a gut no matter what. It is simply about eating what you need. I read this. There was a there was a um, there was this expedition in Greenland, north of Canada, okay. ten years ago. There's these four scientists I read about. They spent six weeks out there studying the fucking ice and global warming and All the bullshit, studying yeah. animals and stuff. And it was a, it was a very it was that's not the point. The point I'm making is they rationed themselves to a can of tuna and crackers with one piece of broccoli a day. That's extreme, but they got Shit. but but and it sucked for a but couple it, it of days. Gave them the nourishment they needed. And at the end of the six weeks, they were fine. They all dropped weight in a, and but they weren't like malnourished. They were fine. Yeah. So those headaches and shit that you get, or those weird pains you get, like what I noticed, it's, you're when withdrawing because yeah, you yeah. eat sugar all day. When I was lo- losing weight, I noticed once I got past that that thing that's telling me to eat. Yeah. It goes away in like 15, 20 minutes, maybe yeah. 30. Yep. And then you're like, oh, shit, I wasn't hungry. Or sometimes you need a glass of water. You're dehydrated and sure. you think you're hungry. Yeah. So it's all mental, dude. Right. Don't eat pizza every day. But if you want to eat pizza on occasion, fucking eat pizza. Eat good pizza. Eat real pizza. But don't eat 12 slices of city. Don't eat a whole medium. And walk your ass places. You ain't got to go to the gym for four hours like Doc Garrett. Just fucking move. Park. Park in the back of the parking lot, you know? Isn't that Get like extra a, steps. That's a thing in, in LG. Y'all, you two could both help me out. Asia, they walk everywhere, right? In most well, places. Big cities in this country. New York City. They don't have an obese problem in New York City. Everybody, you're forced to walk everywhere. They yeah. don't, you can't jump in a car and drive in the middle of Manhattan. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. But I think Asian people just physiologically are mostly smaller in stature versus Depends European. Depends on the country. Depends. It depends on, so the... So in traveling with the Air Force, mm-hmm. everybody that's been stationed in Korea tells me their McDonald's is far, far superior. Oh, yeah. Two hours. Nina said of, the same. When she because was the Japan. KFC in Jakarta is so much better than anything we have here. Is it because it's fresh? Is it because it's real it, food? It's what fr- is it? The chickens aren't injected with steroids. <laughs> They're like regular sized chickens. Right, the the right. church's chicken, which is called Texas chicken outside of uh, America. In, in Jakarta is amazing. They serve you like rice with chicken breast. Like it's just it's it's way better. Everything's fresh. You get veggies. Yeah, fries are not a thing. Right. Oh, there's no such thing as fries. They don't have them on the menu at those places. Hey, McDonald's. Baby, we're still recording. Wow. I was going to ask you a quick question for Thunderdome. McDonald's no. gives you rice with your your burger, not fries. Yeah, Tell us so about all the Air Force people are. They all loved Korea. Tell us about McDonald's in Japan. How it was so different. Second floor of almost every McDonald's that we walked into over there. It's really insane with like, like a little Japanese man like playing the piano. Right, and ha- but was the food different? Um, so they had some of the same stuff. No, it wasn't very different. Not in Japan. Now, when I went to Spain, yes, McDonald's was like super different. I don't even remember what the menu is. Wow. But no, Japan wasn't terribly different at all. It was more of the structure. Did you get uh, white McDonald's. rice with everything? Yeah, you, no, uh, I get French fries. I got French fries. But you can get I rice. Know. It's an option though, right? For the rice? Not that I remember. Not like in Hawaii. Like, you know how in Hawaii we could get rice? I don't remember that being an option in Japan. No. At Burger King and McDonald's in Hawaii will give you rice over fries. Like, like just yeah, and white rice. Yeah, the, the, the McDonald's and the, the Wendy's over there in Japan, they have conference rooms. They have business conference rooms to where... People will actually go and they'll host their business conference at McDonald's. We're talking about how or different, that. like how like unhealthy. I think, but there are fast food it's places totally in other countries that are actually like it's like McDonald's and Burger King are actually a little healthier because they use different chemicals and stuff, different meat, 
<laughs> it's healthier than here. Yeah. All right. I'll call you when I get off. Love you, baby. Okay. All bye. right. Bye. Yeah, so there's I've, a grand piano in every McDonald's in Tokyo. Yeah, so okay. researchers say they in, take it serious. Yeah, in the Popeyes chicken sandwich, there's 40 man made chemicals. In the Chick fil A chicken sandwich, there's 50 man made chemicals. Mm -hmm. So, wow, you we are what we eat. Yeah, anyway, and that, and then you we wonder why we're addicted to it because I'm addicted to food, I'm addicted to shitty food. Yeah, I'm addicted to shitty food. But portion I, control. I think it's the street food over there, though, because we don't have street food available here. Over there, not you can like go, that. Not like an abundance like no, that. No, you can go over there and get like a chicken and rice dish from a street vendor, and that chicken was walking around that morning. Right. Which is like it's for that. What do they call that? LG farm to table. Exactly. Yes. See, ours. But is the farm isn't injecting their chickens with steroids like they do here. Yeah, because. Yeah, no, it's totally different. Yeah, I'm, Hawaii, I'm addicted to processed food you can because get a, it's, it's some shit in it that yeah. it's, it's meant to get you addicted. Yeah, in Hawaii, it's, I mean, it's easy in Hawaii because it's surrounded by the ocean. But like, you get the fish you eat in the grocery store was caught that morning or the night before. It ain't sitting in a box for four months, frozen. Dude, the best seafood restaurants I've gone to are mm -hmm. in Jakarta where they literally have like an aquarium. And you're like, oh, this is cool. But no, that's your menu. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Which one do you want? We're going to go stab it and <laughs> no, get that's, it. That's white and flaky. <laughs> white and flaky and fresh and not uh, that fishy ass taste. Sounds like you. me, white and flaky. All right. <laughs> the official real estate agent. Fine Filipino, man. He can probably tell us about some good Filipino food that's more nutritious. They must have good dentists over there because Jay's got great teeth. <laughs> he does. No, I'm sure he has. He goes to a he dentist does. in town. Uh, great teeth. Now look at that Dallas Cowboys colored suit he's got on in that picture. Is he a Cowboy fan? I don't know, but that's if that was not designed, that's good marketing. <laughs> How about that Cowboy? You know what I am? I'm whatever fan is buying the house. If the, if right. the person's yeah, buying I'm a five hundred thousand sure, yeah, dollar home, yeah. I'm an Eagle fan. Yeah, but he is Puto San Antonio. Yes, he's Filipino in nature, but he's a Puto San Antonio, born and raised. Well, he's raised here anyway. It is the Ribaldo Realty Group. Jay Ribaldo wants to sell you a house. He wants to help you sell one if you're looking to sell one. He wants to help you rent one. He wants to help you with a plot of land if you want to build a new build. Um, maybe you're looking to build a second house and rent it out. He can help you make the best decision when it comes to investment properties that so many people do. Flipping houses is a big deal. Jay can do it all. He is the man. MBA, the official realtor of in the building. It is Jay Ribaldo at KW.com. You can email him directly, Jay Ribaldo at KW.com, or call him at 210-887-1081. All right, weekend doings. What you boys got coming up this weekend? Y'all working? We got 16 jobs between us. Ooh. God, we have 16 jobs between us. Yeah, four, four, and six. I know we're workers, Something but at like some that. point, that weren't, we, we got to have less jobs. Yeah, it'd be nice if this was my only gig, but we're going to, you know, well, we'll it would be really nice if this was our only gig. I'm working on that. I've Hard got a, I've every got day. a three game series today, Saturday, and Sunday. Ooh. UTSA Wait, softball. Wait, three, three, and three? No, no, no. It's three games total. Oh, I was like, Birds shit. up, Mike. Who yeah, we, birds who, up. Who are we playing? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Show us that great tan line again. Oh, uh, you want to see the yeah, tan yeah, line? Yeah, pull that Look at that. This dude. is a baseball tan. Dude. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I need to go out there in like a tank Something's top or wrong. something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shirtless LG with a big ass camera. Yeah. Hey, I'm on top of the press box. There's not a lot of people that can see on me. On top of the press box, that is brutal. Boiling yeah. sun. Dude, last year during soccer, I was shooting soccer on top of the press box. I literally had a heat stroke. Have they put covering like a for on real? you? No. no. Like a for shit, real heat stroke? Yeah, I had a heat stroke. Like for real. Like the next, yeah, he, no, he did. Like, yeah, had to take, had to quit and rest. And the next day, they put like cold I, rags. On I just you poured water all over oh myself. My but God. the next day, I had the worst migraine of my life. I was exhausted. I couldn't do anything for about a day and a half afterwards. Damn. And yeah, it was a legit. You just got stroke. you got dehydrated and stroked out. That's exactly. That's that ridiculous. was like it was in early August. It was one of those like 115 degree days, and the game was so, at like 2 p.m. So maybe a life hack, and I don't know why they do this, but so a couple, but you know, like three of my buddies took a a golf trip to Arizona in the middle of summer, which Jesus. is brutal. Yeah. Which is brutal. They're playing these courses that are normally 400 bucks for 35 bucks, but there yeah. for whatever reason, their cold towels are with cucumber ice water 
Hmm. So maybe you need to get you a little small cooler. And, and sounds, soak, like a, sounds like a spa treatment. Yeah, and, and put your towels in there That's with the cucumber slices shit. with the ice. And this way, when you feel yourself getting cold, put the ice towel around your neck with the cucumber. And I don't know what the cucumber provides, LG. I can't. I'm just saying they told me when they were at every course had cold towels soaking in cold, ice cold cucumber well, water. Women put them on their eyes. And, they, and it was for you to spies. put on the back of your neck. So mm, come have to summer, look into that. Yeah, yeah, so come summertime, maybe that's you can have your little little small little mini cooler and have you some cucumber ice towels in there. Yeah, or you UTSA can spend some of that fifty seven <laughs> milli they just got and build some freaking covers on top of the press boxes. <laughs> or that or that. We're, work, we're working on our budget. Work. I, I tweeted out Jeff Trailer told when they announced I that saw thing, that. and I tweeted out the athletic director too. I Are was you like, serious? Yeah, I was like, you need to build a cover because I had a heat stroke last year. You tweeted Dr. Lisa Campos. Yes. Oh, uh, big deal. Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Well, hopefully she don't fire me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm oh, saying. Oh well, I'm sorry. I don't that's want him to get fired. I don't. I mean, I, I respect him speaking out for the people. I'm just trying to protect myself. And Carl Schoening, he he put one of them pop up tents up there, but forgot to like anchor. He put these little five pound weights. <laughs> they and flew away. It, oh, dude, I had to abandon the camera <laughs> because the tent was about to fly into the intramural fields behind the soccer uh, pitch, and I, I had it by one leg. It was literally up in the air, and I have a little headset. Hold up. The director had to come up out of the press box and help me reel it in, and the, the and the broadcast didn't get changed. Like the cameras were just on nothing. For that 10 minutes we were trying to save the day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what are you doing this weekend? I hope nothing. In my age, doing nothing huh. is doing something. I don't know what that's like anymore. Uh, Saturday, I might move around Saturday. I might move around Saturday. Well, tomorrow, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Make a move. I got a buddy having a little shindig. I might do that. And then go. There you go. I got to do my building. I got to clean my building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But By I'll the way, I, I'm not weekend. technically, we're talking about our jobs. I'm not going to texas cheer liquor every week that's not i that was a job yeah uh but every now i have taken yeah i have stepped back from texas cheer liquor but if they're ever in a pinch and i have the time i'm still open to maybe doing a shift here and there for some extra bucks but that technically is no longer like a weekly thing for me so the point i'm saying is this will be the first saturday in seven months that I'm off work and I can't tell you how <laughs> ecstatic I am. We well, Tomorrow night we're going to the place where Nina and I had our first date actually. We're going to go to the Whitty Museum. My friend Michael Miller founded the Miracle League years ago. It is a youth baseball league mm-hmm. for kids with disabilities and this is our annual f- fundraising gala where we basically fund the entire year in one night uh, a rising young country kid from eagle pass i want to say or maybe down in the valley somewhere del rio maybe william beckman is going to play at the witty we're going to go there i have a good ass time the scene of our first date have a great saturday damn now, you're you're all mr baseball these days now sunday uh, yeah sunday i'm working sunday we got a 105 so i don't i've y'all i don't know what the you weather's got the flying chancla sunday. sunday right i got flying chanclas on sunday 105 and i'll be watching our uh, masters bet the rest of this yeah yeah too. Well, so the yeah the game i don't count over. thursdays thursday so, don't matter friday saturday sunday saturday's way, really moving i don't there. have to stay the whole game if i don't want to because the promo part ends in the eighth inning so i can leave pretty much every game in the eighth so i'm thinking Three three thirty. If it, the game wait, what flows, time the game starts at Sunday? One oh five. I'll be home to watch the finish of the Masters. Okay. Yeah, it should be good, unless we have a delay or something, rain delay or whatever. Yeah. So short of a rain delay or a twenty inning, twenty run inning, you know, any you know, normal. If it's a normal game, I, I'll be home for the Masters. So I've got, and, that, and I don't even consider that a job right now. Honestly, I'm so you can't. this this missions thing so fun. And it's like it's it's like a fun hobby that they pay me to do, you know. It's great. So I've got a, I got date night Saturday, mission Sunday, master Sunday night. I haven't what, had a weekend off like this in a long do, ass what time. What kind of date do you do at the Witty? I emceed the gala one year. So Don Harris in the building zone. Don Harris 
Which, by the way, I'm still yeah, waiting on our studio yeah, same, invite, Mr. Same. Don. Don Harris emcees that gala every year, and he's great at it. Don had an engagement. He was out of town a couple of uh, years ago, and I was asked to come into town from Hawaii and emcee it. And I asked this little Mexican girl named Duran if she would go with me and be my plus one. That was my first date. Mm. Have you ever been to an event at the Witty, like a gala or fundraiser? Uh, I have. I went to the one where they do uh, water wells for people in Africa. Oh, okay. Okay. Like Jake Paul went and built a bunch of those, didn't he? Yeah, and also the Beast. Oh yeah, that's who the I was beast, thinking of, Mr. Beast. Got yeah. your white yeah. guys I got yeah, I got my white yeah, influence, Mr. Beast. <laughs> but I did one of those like where they're like, oh, buy water, buy you know, buy a water well for. Well, I mean, they make for perfect dates because it's free cocktail. You got the cocktail hour. Yeah. There's usually a band free playing. Food. You got a good food served up, so it's it's a good date night. Well, the, I will, I've I'll, I've been to the Miracle League Gala and it looks like the Oscars in there. It's so yeah, nice. They do it. It up. looks so great. Anyway, so. I'm, I'm going to have a good weekend. UTSA is playing Clit, by the way. Yo, come on, LG. I mean, Charlotte. Dude. <laughs> so the university uses CLT? I yes. thought it was the airport. No. Bo, it's both. everybody. It's both. It's everybody. Yeah. That's the abbreviation. Everybody That's the official bre- abbreviation for Charlotte, North Cackalack. Can you find the Clit? <clears throat> I hope we all have a good weekend. <laughs> If you can't by now, something is wrong with you. Something is wrong here. <laughs> uh, I got four kids. What? I know. I oh. got four oh, kids. Oh, no, too. I've never been to Charlotte, Rudy. Oh. Thanks for asking. Oh, I've, nev- yeah. I've oh, never. I was I, like, what? I could probably find it on a map, but no, I've never That's actually been to Charlotte, about. North Carolina. Yeah. All right. We are going to. We got a fun weekend coming up May 6th. What's so on May a Monday, 6th? we're going to play some golf. Hell the yeah. The NFL alumni. I cannot wait for this. Super Bowl of Golf qualifier on May 6th at the TPC of San Antonio. Our buddy Johnny Walker invited us to go play golf that day with a guy called Tomas Martinez. He runs Luxury Homes Magazine. Big Thunderdomer. And they've asked me and Rudy to go out and play in the Super Bowl of Golf qualifier at the Oaks course at TPC in San Antonio, Texas on May the 6th. Y'all can play the night before. We're going to have a gala up there, and we're going to draft a bunch of former football players. Uh, I need to get a list of the names. That's what I need of all the ball players coming in. Johnny is the president of the South Texas chapter of the NFL Alumni Association, and he's got a bunch of his NFL buddies, former players, that will be there. We're going to draft guys, and the guy you draft will play with you the next day. And so this should be a cool bit, some good exposure for our show, and a good opportunity for Thunderdome to give back to Eva's Heroes and uh, Morgan's Wonderland, Mr. Hartman, his his foundation. We benefit them. We benefit Eva. We benefit uh, Mr. Hartman all on that Monday at the qualifier. If you all want information, you can go to SuperBowlOfGolf.com. That is SuperBowlOfGolf.com and cruise down the page and find where it says SATPC because they got it. This is a qualifier, so they have tournaments all over the country. Make sure you click on the San Antonio one to get all the information about how to play in the golf tournament with us. And we're playing. All right. And LG's going to be out there. We're going to get some content, right? We'll make him our, uh, our caddy. If LG's not working. Possibly, yes. Possibly. Right, he's not working. Well, we all got 16 jobs amongst us, so what are the odds we ever get together and play golf without anybody having any jobs? It, keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll do that. But Thunderdome, y'all can play. Please do. That's it. We're done. Appreciate everybody. That's it. Thank you to Rivaldo Realty Group, Law Office of Orlando Kell, Texas Cheer Liquor, Slacker Studio, all of our sponsors. It's been a good week. We've had a good week of broadcasting. 33%, 33%, 33%, 33% us, 33% our people, 33% our sponsors. So you're, our off, you're off the missions next week. We got some work to do. Let's get it. Let's we go. Let's con- get in the car and go. Content Let's get in the car and go. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right. That's see it. We're done. Up. All right. We'll see you all in here on Monday. You love you hard. This program was made possible by contributions from viewers and listeners like you. Thank you.
You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.